Okay, so what we want to show right here is how to fit a model from a PDB easily into an EM density map. And the idea is with Chimera, they use some fun things that make it go from a global search to a local search very efficiently so that you don't have to deal with moving the thing around and then optimizing anything, and it's very rapid. So the first step is to open things up in Chimera. You can do it from the command line or just open Chimera initially and then open your PDBs from the main menu. And you can go to the volume data menu in order to open your maps. So I already have a map open here and my screen is tiny so you have to look past that. So obviously the scale isn't quite correct here. So generally speaking, you're gonna receive an EM map that's probably gonna have the right pixel size set. If it's not, under your features, you can open the coordinates menu, and when you have coordinates open, you change the voxel size to the correct pixel size. So for this map, it's 3.076 angstroms per pixel. And hit enter, and you saw the map jumped off the screen. So it's not always necessary to center it, but it keeps things simple. So if you hit the center button, then what it does is it changes the origin and the cell angles within the header, so there's no resampling actually going on, to put the map in the center of the volume. Once you've done that, since you've changed the header and you've changed the pixel size, it's good to save the map. So I'll save it as and put it under a different name. Um, in this case, I'm just going to save it as temp.mrc in whatever folder I'm working in. And that's the map that we're going to use then in the future. So now we've got our map and our model. And I don't know if this is obvious to you, but the receptors are pointing down in this view in the map and up here in the model. So the next thing you want to do is open the model panel which allows you to select different things. So if you go to tools, general controls, and model panel, it'll open up the model panel and you'll have both of your uh, everything that's open in the screen over here. Now here it's only two things so I'm going to unselect the model or the map, turn it off from active so that way when I move things I only move the model and now I'm free to rotate it, so I'm going to rotate it into about the right orientation, translate it, and basically just get a rough overlay of where I want it to be. Um, now I'm not going to go through all the shortcut keys and mouse buttons, I'm sure you can look that up. But once you get it about right, put everything back to active, or hit active all. And even though it does a good global search, you want to make sure things are at least close. Now that this is close, we're going to go to back to the volume viewer, look under tools and fit and map. Now, if depending on the analysis you're doing, you can go to options and actually use a map simulated from the atoms at a given resolution. Uh, for now, I'm just going to fit it based on overlap. And you see it just snaps it in really quick. And you can undo it if you want, or you can look it back in. And if you didn't want to save the PDB directly from Chimera, you could actually pin out the transformation matrix by hitting results and you get a 4x1 affine transform that lists the uh, displacement here in pixels and then a rotation matrix Chimera uses a ZXZ active transform of the model. But rather than actually trying to go in and transform the PDB, after you examine your fit and you make sure it's okay, at least reasonable to start with, you can go to your file in the main menu and save PDB. Now the important thing here is that you, if you have multiple models open, just select the one you want to save and really critically save it relative to the model that you've already saved. I'm just going to write this out with the same prefix and call it temp.pdb. And that's really it. So now I'm going to exit out of Chimera. And pause this because I don't know where I saved that stuff. And now that I've tracked down where I saved that, which can be a pain with Chimera, it'll it's kind of goofy with what most recent uh, working directory it saves, so pay attention when you save it. Um, if not, you can reopen Chimera and just act like you're going to save it again and see. So all we want to show here is that what we did actually is a persistent change. All the headers were saved appropriately, and that now you have a map that is well aligned to the model. Now, I don't have VMD on this laptop. Um, I pretty much just use this for Word and whatever else I have to unfortunately use Microsoft for. But I promise that if you open this in VMD, it will come out just the same. So to recap that real quickly, in order to rapidly fit a 
PDB into a map, you can just open them both in Chimera. Once you have them open, you go to Tools and Volume Data in order to operate on your map. If you need to adjust the pixel size or center the map, go to Features and open the Coordinates menu, which I by default have turned on, and you can change the voxel size and hit Enter, and then center the map by selecting the center key. After you do that, you'll want to save the map, which you do from the Volume Viewer, Save Map As, and Save Your Map. Once you've saved your map, you use the tool called Fit and Map, which is again under the Volume Data, so it's the Volume Viewer tool. Go to Tools, Fit and Map, oh, not Surface Color. And then you select your model, which in this case was our temp.pdb, it had a prior name, and fit it into your map. You can either fit it directly or you can use the map simulated from Atoms at any given resolution. And the results are printed out here in an affine matrix, or you can just directly save the PDB by going to your main dialog window, File, Save PDB. And again, the key thing here was that you have to save it relative to your model. From there, you're good to go and make beautiful, beautiful MDFF. Thanks.